what's going on everybody in today's video we're doing something kind of crazy we're doing two tournaments in two days at two different lakes probably about 200 miles apart we're fishing at roosevelt lake fishing a tournament with some friends of mine it's just a little friends tournament um, about seven boats 14 people it's going to be a blast hopefully we're gonna have a good time and then we're gonna me and my 520 fishing partner are leaving saturday afternoon after that tournament hightailing it down south down to aravaca and we're going to be getting ourselves ready for that tournament which is on sunday morning and fishing that tournament and doing it all over again but at a different lake and a different day so Am I nuts? Maybe, but it's fishing. I love it. So we're going to put ourselves through it. Thanks so much for being here. Click subscribe, smash that like button and leave us some comments and I'll catch up with you guys out there on the water. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Had that. Sh yeah. I know I'm thinking about throwing my frog on it, but then I'm like, I just don't know if that's where the bite is right now. I just got blown up. I just got a blow up on the frog. Back way back in there. Something hit it. On. He says he looks like he got a healthy back on him. Oh, that's, that's a solid fish, Mike. Get in there. Get in there. Nice. Yeah, Let's that's go. what I'm talking about. We have started out, boy. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about, dude. Nice. Thanks. Yes, sir. You want a spot lock? I'm on spot lock. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Stud. 310. Ooh, buddy. You want me to get you? Get you? Yeah. I'll say, let me use your phone. If oh, you, yeah, that's yeah. cool. My phone sucks. My camera sucks. Yeah. I just want to get you a good picture, you know what I mean? Dud. Heck yeah, bro. I almost threw him back right there. That's what I'm, so, <gasps> I'm so used to it. like, oh yeah, cool, picture gone, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, I gotta keep this guy. <laughs> Lightweight on the front, because I'm not patient enough to fish it weightless. <laughs> See, and I was just thinking, when I snapped this off, I was like, is this a sign? Should I throw my drop shot instead? You know? We might just get five fish just yet, man. That's the way it always goes, right? Yeah. I don't know, I start throwing on, on these leaves and trees like this. I usually stick to like six and eight pound a year, but Eric's like, nah, we're getting these trees like this. I'm going 12. There you go, get it in. You net? I don't think so. No. It might fix it. We keeping that? No minimum until we until we get sub five. I'd say we keep them. Okay. I know it's kind of cheesy, but oh my! God. You want a picture? <laughs> yeah, just toss them in. Because uh, I'm, at this rate, I think we're gonna have five anyway. And Yes. Good fish. Good fish. Good fish. Okay. It's a good fish. I'll be careful that line is like six pound. 
He's in. He's in. Trying to get the net. That that's okay. That's okay. That's a good fish, man. Whew. Finally contributing. <laughs> cool. Just a different color worm. That little Texas rig. Oh, that's a three pounder. <laughs> that's what we need. Dude. That's a three pounder that's right what there. We need. Yeah. So I threw it just to in between that stick coming up this way and kind of how it, you see, I don't know if they V or not, but see how there's like that opening? Yeah. Threw it right up towards there. And like I said, I was fishing your Texas rig just with my color. Straight tail worm on Texas rig. Well guys, I switched over to a larger bait. I was throwing this craw here. I forgot to peg my weight, but I was fishing this. W flipped up in these trees and uh, pulled out a little two pounder, but it's something we needed for sure. Um, unfortunately, SD card was full, so fantastic there, but got a fish, so that's good. Yeah, just another little. I mean, better than the last one. He's keepable. Yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. I mean, when, when we're struggling to get fish in the boat, like, you know, it's like all excited about those rats. Nice. Tossed my worm up. Do those float? No, I don't think so. Got one, guys. One we can actually put in the live well. You want? Maybe we're keeping. Oh, we, we don't have five, so we're keeping. Maybe one pounder, maybe. He's healthy. Nice, thanks, buddy. Yes. All right, this is this has been good for us. Yeah. Yeah. Get this bit off. Get this retied. One two five. One one twelve. That looks pretty small for one twelve. Look at his belly though. Yeah. Nice and fat. We Good didn't gross. weigh. We didn't weigh mine. I don't know if that's important. No, I just was playing with the scale. Okay. Yeah. He could probably hang out with the big guy. Okay. <laughs> He's big enough. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, either we keep, which probably weigh. Here, you want me to take a picture of yours, that, and yeah. then we gotta get some pictures with these fish, man. And then we can hand this off to Will. Will, are you gonna weigh? No. Okay. Yeah, take care of oh, okay. I mean, just for posterity, in case we win. It was, it was actually, it was kind of a grind. <laughs> Mine was three, four, his was four. That's that's mine. One. Oh, okay. You want to grab that? Which one you want to grab? The one and one. Yeah, go ahead. That's the four. That's the three, four, three, three. <laughs> Here. Good? Yeah. Sweet. You got a good ones? Yeah. Sweet. Thank you. Four. Flip over, Bubba. There you go. Yeah, he's just slow to get going. There he goes. How'd you do, Nick? And you guys were 11 14, so you guys second. So I got plaques for you guys. <laughs> I never thought we'd win this thing. 
All right, guys, so that's going to wrap up Roosevelt Lake. Me and my partner won there, which was awesome. Thanks to Mike and me putting together enough of a bag. My 520 partner took big fish for that tournament, so we're bringing home a little bit of money. Now we're on our way to Aravaca Lake to fish that tournament. Wish us luck, and we'll see you out there on the water tomorrow morning. It's safe flight. We're out here at Aravaca Lake. The tournament's beginning. I forgot my camera up at the car. So, making a little run. But, fished Roosevelt yesterday. Made a good run down here to Vaca. Slept in Schlary's boat, or a Schlary's van. It's got it all decked out with sleeping quarters now. Slept like a log, man, it was great. Got up early, got the boat launched. And uh, we're ready to go fish. Hoping to get on some frog action. Maybe some pitching and flipping. And uh, we'll bring you guys along for the ride. We'll join up with you out there on the water, guys. Yeah, Kyle, 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 stop. Dude, he tried to hit that as I reeled it up. I think I got that on camera, dude. I'm telling you, that fish just tried to hit that as I pulled it out of the water. Nope. Not big enough to out for nothing though. <laughs> My arms aren't long enough. Better. Yes, yes. Net, 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 net. That's what we needed, dude. Just chill, just chill. I'll let him take it. That's a good fish, dude. That's a good fish, dude. Hey, baby. Oh, baby. Yep. Hopefully it'll keep. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. You might have swallowed it too. Nope. Think he's big enough? All right, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. Great weekend of fishing. Drove out Friday afternoon to Roosevelt Lake, camped out with a bunch of buddies. We did a little buddies tournament, a bunch of people that are associated with Blitz Lures. Uh, we got together, we did like seven boaters and seven non-boaters, and we did a little roulette wheel, drew a boater and then a non-boater, 
paired each other up. So a lot of us went out with people we don't really know, got to fish with people, learn some different stuff from uh, each other. And a good way to just, you know, intermingle with people from our group that we don't necessarily get to fish with all the time. And a huge shout out to Mike, my fa my partner for that tournament. We took first place for that. We were able to put together a good bag, doing some different techniques. And uh, man, it was awesome. We, we took home some money and the bragging rights for that tournament. And uh, it was it was awesome. It was stellar. And then me and my 520 partner drove down to Aravaca. Big shout out to him too because he's made his van like a little camper. We were able to sleep in there. It has AC. The boat is awesome. Fish that tournament. I took big fish at that tournament, like a 375, but still took some money home from there, which is just awesome to finish two tournaments like that. A huge weekend, two different days, two different tournaments, two different lakes, probably about 200 miles apart from Roosevelt all the way down to Aravaca, and just had a great weekend fishing. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys learned something from it. Um, it was just a little bit different. I might be crazy a little bit, but I love fishing. Crazy for fishing. So uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Click subscribe, smash that like button, leave us some comments, and we'll catch up with you guys next time out there on the water.